Do you want to know how to make a custom thumbnail for free for your YouTube videos? Well, in this video, I will show you how to make a traffic thumbnail for YouTube with a free online software called Pixlr. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Creative Tutorial and in this video I will teach you how to make a thumbnail for free with Pixlr. Pixlr is a free online tool that helps you create professional and attractive thumbnails for your YouTube videos and today I step by step show you how. Now before we get started with this video, consider subscribing if you're new here as we make videos on YouTube growth for fast YouTube success and tutorials just like this one to help you improve your content so people subscribe to you. And before we get started, can we hit 9 likes in this video? With that being said, let's get right into this video. So go to the .com called Pixlr.com, I'm going to be putting the link down below in the description and once you're on this website you just have to scroll down and once you're you have scrolled down you'll see this called pixel editor and pixel express you want to click on the one which says pixel editor and then you want to click on launch web app now once you have clicked on that you'll see this page and once you have seen this page you want to click on create a new image and you want your image width to be 1920 and your height to be 1080 which is 180 and you want to tick the box which says transparent and then you want to press on ok now we have created our image just like in photoshop and if you want to know how to make a thumbnail using photoshop i'll be putting the link for that down below in the description as well so just select on this tool right here which will help you drag and drop so the first step to creating any thumbnail is to choose a background image for your thumbnail. So just go onto Google Images, which I have open right here, and then you want to search up a background. So I'm just going to search up simple background because I really want it. I want a simple background. And then you want to scroll down and see for an image that you like to use in your thumbnail. Now I like this image right here, and then click on View Image. And once you have clicked on view image, all you want to do is select this URL right here, and then you want to click on copy. So once you've copied that URL, you want to come into pixlr.com again, and then you want to click on file and open image URL. Now we'll just paste the URL that you um, copied from the image and just press on OK. And then you'll get that image right here. You want to select that image by clicking on it, and then you want to click on Control A and then Control C. Now you have copied the image, now you just want to click on this X button right here, and then you want to click on No. Now you want to click select this image, and you want to click on Control V, and then as you can see, you have your background image for your thumbnail, paste it onto your uh, untitled image. So now all you have to do is add a custom branding to your image. Now I have a custom branding, which is my bar, so I'm just going to open that image up. And this is the custom branding I use for every single of my thumb, every single one of my thumbnails. And I'm just gonna click on Control A, then come on, click on Control C. Now, if you don't have custom branding, it's very simple to make one, or you, or you could just have your custom branding as your name on the bottom of your screen. But I like my custom branding to a bar because it stands out from other thumbnails. So I'm just gonna press on Control C and just copy my image, and then I'm gonna press on No, and then I'm gonna press on Control V again. And then as you can see, it's uh, the and as you can see the page, the image is pasted. But I do want to resize it so it's still in the corners like this. So I'm just going to click on Edit, and then I'm going to click on fa uh, Free Transformation, and then I could transform this, and I could make it, I could resize it to whatever I want. So I want it like that, and then I'm just going to click on Yes. And then voila, then I have my custom branding. So we want to add an image. So because a thumbnail without an image is really boring. So I'm going to go to Google Images again. And I'm going to hit in emoji. Emoji. And I'm going to put on this emoji right here because I like it. So I'm just going to go on view image. And I'm going to copy this image URL right here. And go to pixlr.com, click on a file, open image URL paste the URL and then click on OK, click on Control A, Control C, copy the image and now just press on No and then press Control V and now your image has been pasted. So I want to resize this image and make it a little bit bigger so I want to press on Edit and Free Transform and then I want to make it a little bit bigger like that much and we're just going to make it that and that looks good. I'm going to click outside of the image and click on Yes. To save changes now so now I want to add drop shadows to this image so to add drop shadow I'm gonna click on this layer which is this image the image layer and then I'm gonna right click on it and then click on layer styles now you will see this box pop up you want to click on drop shadow 
I'm going to put the opacity to 100 and then I'm going to put the distance to 0 and I'm going to put the size to around uh, 20. I'm going to put the size to 20 and then I'm going to put an outer glow as well which makes it more stand out which makes it stand out even more. And I'm going to put the outer glow as black because I like the color black when it's an outer glow and just can press on OK. And then I want the hardness to be just one and the size to be 20 again. Now that makes it stand out much more and it makes it pop from the background and makes it stand out. I'm just going to press on OK. Now we want some text to go with the image. Maybe I want to make custom, I want people to know how to make custom thumbnails. So I'm just going to press on the text tool right here. And I'm going to add a text by just clicking on this image right here. So now I'm just going to add a text. I'm just going to drag it. You could drag this box wherever you want. I'm just going to drag it here. And then I'm going to put a text called custom. Actually, I want to make it custom thumbnails. Now I want to make this text much bigger. So I'm just going to put, like, you can make this text how much bigger you want. I want to make it like that much big. Actually, I'm going to put it all the way there. And I'm going to make this text bold so you, just, so you could just select style and click bold and then I want this text and then I want the text color to be green so I'm just gonna select the green one right there and press on OK and OK. Now I want to add a drop shadow because this text is really unclear to see so I'm just gonna right click on that text layer and then I'm gonna select the layer styles and click drop shadow. Now I'm, I'm gonna put the opacity to 100 I'm gonna put the distance to around 10 actually I'm gonna put the distance to around 7 so I'm gonna put the distance around 7 I'm gonna put the size to I'm gonna put the size of 2 and then I'm gonna press OK so as you can see guys this thumbnail looks pretty good you could spend much more time in pixlr.com to make your thumbnails even better than this because you know there's much more potential in this website and you can make more better thumbnails than this by just spending more time on this thumbnail i'm just here to just show you how to actually get the basics done for pixlr.com and this is how you make a basic youtube thumbnail using a free online tool called pixlr.com and you see this thumbnail looks pretty good so i'm just gonna click on file and click on save and you could just name this file anything so i'm just going to name it test and then i'm going to click on png i'm going to press on ok now you could save it wherever you want i'm just going to save it right here and that's how you make thumbnails for free with pixlr hope hopefully you found this video helpful if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button for more amazing and awesome tutorials just like this one drop a like share this video so other people can know how to make free custom thumbnails with that being said guys this is crazy tutorial and i'm signing out